Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two of the stair modernisation. So last video, basically getting the stairs sanded from this awful darker stain um, back to the raw, what I believe is white oak and um, in a quest to modernise the staircase. Now we sanded, tedious, messy, um, but we got it done about two weeks ago now um, to where we are. Um, and then parts that could be removed, such as the handrail here, base rail, new posts, and up there, I removed and did that in the garage over the last two weeks in and around um, other commitments. So that's where we're at. This video, what I'm wanting to do is start putting it back together because we need to get the glass uh, templated and then once it's all back together it's been templated i can then get them oiled and pretty much done and then try and protect them while i do the rest of the uh, the other work in the hallway we've got a few other bits to cover so what we've done and i touched on it a little bit in the last video was create sort of a blank for the glass clamps to fit to so we've done it here on the base rails so this base rail sits on here screws to it creates a bit of a wide platform as you can see there then the handrail same principle i got myself a blank made it fit the gap and then that's created another sort of flat surface for the glass clamps to fit to now I've already done this downstairs as a bit of a practice run um, before sort of doing the video. Now, we're going to use the nail gun. We've got a few trim nails as well, um, but that does the job pretty good and it holds it well um, with smaller uh, smaller size nails. Then um, we'll, we'll mount all the base rails, handrails where we can, the new new posts. I don't have them to hand at the minute, but I'll go and get them get them fitted we've got one there one up there and a new one there as well and then everything else can be fitted so we're in a position to get the glass in so let's get going uh, no messing about we just need to get this done now and get this looking nice and new so the first job was fitting the base rails did that using the existing holes and the existing screws, just fixing in place using the impact driver, as you can see here. This will give us the bottom ready for the spaces to go in. With the base rails now fixed in place, it's time to get the spacers in. So hoping for a really tight fit, I used an off cut of wood just to tap them in place with the hammer not to damage and try and avoid being able to see the seams as much. As you saw at the intro, these were cut using the table saw. To fix these in place, I've not used any glue. Uh, I didn't feel it was necessary with the, how strong it was, but I also wanted the ability to remove them in the future. So, using the nail gun, just fired some uh, small nails uh, through the spacer, just to give them some security. As you can see, blanks all nicely nailed in place and we just need to do the handrails now. And we're looking something like a bit of filler. Um, so as you can see, the nails just sit a little below and then we can fill that, rub it down. And uh, they look pretty good in passing, don't get me wrong. It's not perfect, but it's probably the next best thing. The It's got tight gap lines. I'm pretty pleased with it, to be honest. So, crack on. I'm gonna get these, these ones fitted on both sides, and then we'll look to get that done before getting these on, the null post and everything else. So. Thank you. 
with all the other ancillary bits in place I moved on to the Mule Coast now the Mule Coast are new from a local stair store um, very very similar pattern although ever so slightly different but nothing that stands out uh, to the eye that's passing now with these I cut them to the length required using the old ones as templates also using the old handrail holes on the template also now these were cut to length and with the holes that were used for fixing to the wall uh, by using new allowed me to do nice new equal holes side to side and from the bottom um, sort of height wise the holes are symmetrical on all three floors now um, which I wasn't able to do neatly when using the old ones now moving on to fixing these to the wall, um, I marked them out, then as you can see here drilled a 6mm hole first all the way through the newel post out the other side and then with a bigger drill bit, a 10mm, I drilled uh, sort of 30% the way through to allow for a oak um, plug to go in to allow me to rub down so you wouldn't actually see, you obviously see it but not too much in your face where they are now in this clip you actually see i did it the other way around to what i've just said but it was better to drill the small hole first and then the bigger hole which is something i'll learn over time with doing these with the holes in the newel post ready to go it was time to mount to the wall now this needs to be a sturdy fixing fortunately this is a breeze block wall so using standard methods of fixing using a wall plug and then a suitable screw just to hold the newel post in place now i moved the location of the holes because the previous uh, workman or whoever fixed these made a right mess of the wall itself so it, this gave me an opportunity to fix them properly as you can see using roll plug uno wall fixings which i've found to be the best fixings alongside fisher duo but i really like the roll plug ones as they hold in place once they're hammered in and do not come loose within the plasterboard it can be easy just to get the impact driver out and drive these screws into the wall but what i try to do here is when we're doing anything that requires a strong sturdy uh, fixing i tend to screw the screws in by hand it does take longer but you get a feel of when you've got the torque necessary for the tightness with the impact driver you can just drive and drive and drive and if you're not careful you can just damage things unnecessarily so um, with that in mind i did screw these in by hand we then moved on to get into the handrails in place and as you can see the other newel post fixed onto the wall ready for the handrail and with this one in particular it was a two-person job it's just about two and a half meters if i remember correctly uh, the length of this handrail so not wanting to damage anything uh, i got the wife involved to uh, ensure that i can get the handrail square but also perfectly in place for what we need ready for the glass going in There we have it all the handrails all the base rails are all back on and um, we're ready pretty much for glass now so the only issue which i think i alluded to earlier was this gap here um because we've got plaster coming i'm going to see if we can do anything just to build sort of this section out um, and try and feather it in and just make it look a bit better save any cork so we've got new new post here there and there the original handrails back on the original base rails all with the blanks in there same here um, ready to apply the osmo oil um, to the finish to make it more like downstairs which you can see there a little bit darker um, but a bit of a semi-matte finish and then 
All's left to do now is fit these caps, cut the ones for those which I'll get done. And um, yeah, that's probably where we're gonna finish this video. So and, um, finish off fitting the new post caps. So um, please do drop any comments down below. If there's any questions on what I've done, um, anything I've missed that you want to cover. Um, this is the first time I've ever dealt with stairs and um, seems to have gone all right. So yeah, please do give it a thumbs up if um, you found it useful and please make sure you subscribe for more, for more videos of this nature coming in the future. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Part three, getting the glass in. Cheers.